hyphens by sub this is our k from 360 reader right now i'm going to have to measure blood oxygen level with apple watch did you know that your apple watch can be utilized as a pulse oximeter of sorts that's right you don't have to spend extra money on a separate device to get blood oxygen data this is a feature on the newer apple watch models and it's pretty straightforward to use too for those who aren't aware a pulse oximeter is a device that's used to determine your pulse rate as well as the oxygen concentration in your bloodstream this particular device is high in demand these days due to the global covid pandemic but if you have an apple watch series 6 or later you don't need one as it can do both those things with its internal sensors that all being said let's learn how to measure blood oxygen level with apple watch before getting started make sure you have subscribed our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 reader to get going press the digital crown on your apple watch to access the home screen full of apps then scroll around and find the blood oxygen app and tap on it you will see the welcome screen and upon tapping the next option you will be shown tips to help you accurately take the measurement now make sure your apple watch is not too low on your wrist and the watch band is snug now tap on start and try not to move while keeping your apple watch facing up upon starting you will get a 15 second countdown timer during which your blood oxygen levels will be measured Keep your band still for the entire duration. Once complete, you should be able to see the percentage of oxygen in your blood. Now tap on to exit the app. That's all there is to it. So that's how you can take a blood oxygen measurement with your Apple Watch. Some users may fail to get a reading on their first attempt. You will see unsuccessful measurement in the retail screen once the countdown ends. This is probably because you moved your wrist or tapped your Apple Watch while taking the measurement. But you can try again and stay still next time. For the average healthy adult, a blood oxygen reading of 96% to 100% is considered ideal. People with chronic health conditions may see slightly lower readings, particularly those with issues that affect their lungs, blood, or even breathing. If you find that your reading is low, you will want to get in touch with a doctor or emergency department right away. If you have found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy Apple Watch tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.